Hey everybody, this is Peter from GoodyReader.com. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Nook HD Plus. This is the larger version of the Nook HD uh, that just came out pretty much at the same time as the Nook HD Plus did. Just going to show you the box, show you an unboxing of uh, what everything comes inside, and of course we'll turn it on for the first time to show you guys a first time startup. Apologize about the studio lights, the wrapper is still on, so we will open this for the first time. And this is our first time opening this as well, so we will go along on this magical Nook HD journey together. Box is pretty plain. You see they're hyping Star Wars on the back. You see right there, nine inch. Let us open this. So, there we go. All right. Okay, if it's anything like the HD, it should open like so. Yes, it does. I don't know if it's supposed to raise up like that, but that was uh, pretty cool. Oh, it is. Wow, okay. Look at that. <laughs> Didn't notice that. I thought I was catching the box. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty cool. Let's do that again. <laughs> One more time on camera. Open it up. Wow, that's cool. All right, um, enough of that. It is uh, rising out of the box. Uh, that is really cool. We will dive into the tablet in a second here. You have your quick start guide. So this is to show you exactly how to utilize the device if you're not familiar on how to navigate and interact with touchscreen devices. You might want to give this a good read because this will tell you how to scroll, swipe, pinch or zoom, press and hold, drag, and so forth. So, I want to read that. Much like in the Nook HD, I'm not liking the direction they're going with this. The, the Nook Jack, as we've been referring to it here. Um, something just went off, but that's okay. Um, I don't really like how it's trying to emulate Apple's old style of uh, ports that uh, is kind of replacing the micro SD, a micro USB, sorry. I like the micro USD better micro USB better, not the micro SD. Um, this goes into your PC, laptop, slate PC for charging or transferring data. This would go into your Nook HD or HD Plus. And of course, we have our wall jack. If you do need to find a wall outlet, link it all together like so. Sorry. Two ways you can do it. And there you go. It's char charging. So it doesn't look like there's anything under this box because it's... Uh, has a cool little bending mechanism to rise, which is really awesome. Big points in my book already, just for that. So here is the Nook HD Plus. Very large, um, just looking at it, it looks like a gigantic Nook tablet with a better designed loop right here. So um, their little signature loop. We'll take this plastic off and we'll dive in deeper. All right, so um, I like the way this one looks. I wasn't a big fan of the way the Nook HD looked. It was all rounded and white. Um, it kind of looked like a gigantic bar of soap with a screen that is inconsistently bordered by it. I, it's just a personal thing, but uh, not a big fan of that one. This one looks very nice, however. You have the signature loop here that is uh, trimmed in kind of a metal ring, which is cool. You have the chiseled edge here, so you have standard screen, the Nook button that pops out that prompts you to go to um, what I can only imagine home on the new devices here. Nothing going on on the left, clean as a whistle. You have volume up, volume down, microphone, and 3.5 mil headphone jack on the top. On the right side, you have your power button, which actually on the Nook HD, the volume is on this side and the power button is on this side so they've kind of switched it a little bit and on the bottom you have your micro SD card slot under this flap right here upgradable up to 32 gigabytes and you have your um, I guess Nook Jack or Nook proprietary slot there with an LED indicator light um, it does appear that they're going the 
Apple iPad root or route because they have just a single speaker on the bottom uh, left of the back or the bottom right of the device, which I'm not a big fan of because however you want to kind of hold it, except for maybe landscape, your hand's going to block it. Uh, or if it's on a flat surface, it's going to block it. Not a big fan of... Uh, not a big fan of the speaker back there, but you have the nice hard rubber backing with the embossed N, or as Michael refers to it, uh, the upside down U. So we are going to start this up for the first time, see if it has any power, and show you guys first time boot up. Looks like we got some juice. I don't think there's too many uh, tablets and e-readers we've reviewed that didn't have power. I'm thinking something from B-Book, but that was about it. Everything else so far has had something, enough charge for us to turn it on. Now, do not forget that turning on your device for the first time will take a while. Yes, it is dark because, there you go, never mind. I had this whole speech prepared. Hi, welcome to your nook. Next. Of course, we're checking for Wi-Fi. We have made our Wi-Fi extremely easy for this video. All right. Continue with setup. Well, this happened on the Nook HD as well. I am not in the USA, but I cannot change that. So I'll just go ahead and select my time zone as Pacific Standard Time. It's downloading. Well, it was checking for critical software updates, and now it is downloading said updates. Shouldn't take very long. We saw this on the Nook HD a little bit earlier in the day. Preparing to reboot. There we go. All right, there was about uh, four minutes of downloads, updates, critical updates, and a bunch more of other things. So uh, we obviously, for the sake of this uh, unboxing, we've skipped over all that. We're going to choose English United Kingdom or English USA. We'll choose USA because, well, I mean, we're not in the USA, but I guess it's the closest one. Connected to the internet on our Wi-Fi. And, uh, yes, I accept the Nook. Come on. There we go. Agree. And looks like we're going to have to go into our account. We will log into our account and be right back with you. All right, so we're going to just skip all this kind of stuff to go to the home page. And there we are. Look at this. So um, what I can see from the top here is that uh, it pretty much looks like an Amazon Fire, <laughs> a Amazon Kindle Fire carousel. That is the only thing I can think of them trying to emulate. Uh, it's pretty much exactly do it does exactly what it uh, looks like you can also uh, press and hold on these and once it stops moving press and hold on these and you can uh, move them down into your screen there so uh, what else do we have here we have library show you library of things you have you, you know your kids books apps you can move left and right and yes although we are in Canada we do have Angry Birds because you can get them we have apps, you can see right there, list of apps, and of course we will get into a full review of this, so don't worry if we're moving too fast or you're missing things, because this is just an unboxing and showing you guys what it looks like for the first time when we turn it on. Welcome to Nook. We also have email, you can set up your email account with uh, your Nook. And of course we have the shop. This will take you to the Barnes & Noble Marketplace so you can download all your favorite stuff. If you're outside the USA, you will need to visit shoppyreaders.com to grab yourself a USA prepaid Visa card because you will not be able to download content in Canada. There we go. So this is it for the Goody Reader unboxing of the Nook HD. 
If you have any questions, you can email us or leave a comment below. We will get back to you or answer that comment. And for Goody Reader, this is Peter. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.